Welcome to another episode of Project Dirty Willy. In this episode, as you can see here, we've got a box from Flowmaster. This is the Flowmaster American Thunder Catback Exhaust System for the Jeep JK. I just want to take a quick second to show how well this is actually packaged in here. It's got this foam wrapped in plastic that's actually form fit to all of the pieces in the bottom of the box. That's really cool. I think that's the best packaging I've seen on a product in a long time. Clamps and hardware. Some more tubing. Looks like we've got our instructions. It's a really, really heavy muffler, um, but considerably smaller from the factory. And this actually goes up beside the frame, inside the frame rails, so you don't have a muffler in the back anymore. So you gain a lot of ground clearance and you get your exhaust system up out of the way. It's kind of like a double cone, like a mesh cone on each end. Okay, now we're under the Jeep and as you can tell here is the muffler. And over here on the driver's side, is a clamp for the muffler. We're gonna go ahead and remove this 15 millimeter bolt. Yours may be different because, um, like I said earlier, this kit is for 07 up to 16, so there could be some differences there. Okay, now that we've got that clamp undone, we need to get something to support the muffler while we pull the rubber hangers off of it. Okay, here at the rear of the vehicle, looking at the tailpipe and then Come up in here. You should be able to see a rubber hanger here. And then one on the opposite side, if I can get you a good shot of that one. One right there. You need to remove both of those. There we go. Now we want to remove these four 11 millimeter little stamped nuts. Um, they're like sheet metal nuts. So we can get rid of this heat shield because we no longer need it. Okay, your next step is to loosen up this clamp here that is at the Y pipe. This one can be kind of tricky if it's if yours is set up like mine because the nut for the clamp is on top and there's not enough room to actually get a deep well socket in here. You can't use a shallow well socket because the nut is too long or the bolt is too long. So you have to sit here with a wrench and even with a ratchet wrench like I used, you only get maybe a 16th of a turn. So I've been sitting here for a couple minutes just trying to get this clamp loose. But that's your next step is to get this clamp loose. And then once you get that, there are two hangers, one here and one on the other side of the other, I guess you could say small little muffler or resonator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's another clamp, not clamp, but there's another uh, rubber hanger there. And then you'll want to pull this section of the exhaust out. This part isn't in the instructions. Um, I've tried multiple different ways of trying to get this piece of exhaust out of here and it's just a no-go. So what I'm going to do is take off this skid plate here and it seems like it'll allow me to actually drop the exhaust down. much easier if I had a jack or a jack stand or something underneath that skid plate but I've never been known for doing things the easy way and note to Flowmaster if you're watching this uh, you should really put that in your instructions because I could not find any other way of getting this exhaust down and out of here without taking that out so here's a little comparison of what's basically coming off of the Jeep 
and what's replacing it. Okay, now we're gonna take a clamp and this short pipe here. I'm gonna put the clamp on and we're gonna slide it over the Y pipe slash collector, whichever you wanna call it. Slide it up as far as it'll go. Let me rotate this here so you can see. If you notice, there's two hanger posts here. This front hanger post is for the 7 through 11 JKs, and the rear one is for the 12 through 16s. So you can cut either one of these off if you want, or you can just leave both of them on. I found that it's going to be easier to remove the rubber hanger from the Jeep and actually put it on the pipe first and then rotate the pipe into place. And force the hanger back onto the Jeep. Once you've got all that, you wanna move your clamp here a little bit. And you're gonna to wanna to tighten it up, but not completely, just enough to kinda of hold things in place. You wanna leave all of this so you can kind of adjust it and fine tune it as you go, and then once you get it where you want it, then you really tighten them down. Okay, now you're going to want to take another clamp and your muffler. You'll have a sticker that says inlet and if yours doesn't have the sticker that says inlet it's also got an arrow that tells you which way the flow goes. So we're going to take clamp, slide it on there, slip muffler on here okay and we'll snug this up a little bit but again not completely tightening it okay now we're ready for this longer piece that goes over top of the axle this kit is actually for two and four doors so if you have a two door you actually have to do some cutting on this pipe here which would be on this long section and Flowmaster says to take off 20 and a half inches okay as you can see I cut the pipe here. Um, I cut it at 19 inches. They said to cut it at 20 and a half because I read in a lot of places that they said that uh, Flowmaster tells you to cut it too short. Well, um, no, the 20 and a half actually ended up being the correct measurement because this will go all the way up inside the muffler up to pretty much the hanger. And speaking of the hanger, uh, it's also something different on the two door. If you have the two door, you have to cut the 20 and a half inches off of this and you have to replace this hanger, which is the one that's directly before the axle. This front pipe here, this first piece that goes in, I actually had to trim about an inch and a half off of it as well in order to get everything to actually line up and fit properly. And this pipe is going over top of the sway bar back here. Um, which kind of makes it a really tight fit. I mean, I can say that I'm definitely somewhat disappointed in this kit from Flowmaster, and I haven't even heard it yet, just because of they're saying that, you know, you, the only difference that you have to do for the two door and the four door is cut 20 and a half inches off and change a rubber hanger. Well, that's not true in the slightest. I mean, you have to trim at least 20 and a half. I may, have trained, I may have trimmed more than 20 and a half. I had to trim off of a piece up at the front where they said I wouldn't have to trim. And uh, I may have to trim back here. And everything is so close. It says in the kit that everything should be three quarters of an inch away from anything. And uh, no, in places up here, it's just about touching the sway bar. And I'm concerned that you start it up and it's going to sit there and vibrate and just sit there and tang against the sway bar. Um, it's just, they should have done two different kits, one for a four door, one for a two door, just doing an all in one kit for 07 through 16 and doing it for a two door and a four door all being one kit is just kind of lazy. In my opinion, they should have done, a little bit more. So I'm kind of disappointed in Flowmaster on that. I'm going to try to put 
the tailpipe and the hanger that it says it goes in back here. There, it's in the hanger. Let's see if I can go ahead and crank this down. Sorry if this video is running long. I mean, it's just, I kind of want to show how unsmooth this installation actually is going. Okay, well, everything is in its hangers and everything is clamped. Now I guess we can start it up and see if there's any leaks. it for the install of the Flowmaster American Thunder stainless steel exhaust system for the Jeep JK. It sounds good. It does have a really good sound. Personally, I think it sounds a lot better than most of the, you know, axle back systems. Looks wise on this exhaust, there's really no looks to it because of it being a high clearance exhaust. You can't even see the tip. I don't know why they put a tip on it. You can kind of see it if you're really, really looking for it, but that's the whole point. You get rid of that big muffler in the back. Would I recommend it to anybody if you had a JKU? I would say yeah, because it would most likely be a direct bolt-on kit. However, if you have a JK, it's not all that simple of a kit. It's honestly like buying the wrong kit for your vehicle and then just hacking and bending and twisting and modifying that kit to fit your vehicle. It's almost like that kit doesn't even belong on a JK. Basically, if you wanted this system, just buy the muffler that comes in the kit and then go to the exhaust shop and have them put that muffler up in there and just run some pipe. Honestly, it would probably be cheaper that way. The price of this exhaust, if it was a direct bolt-on, I would say it's worth it. So for the JKU people, yeah, it's probably worth it. For JK, no, it's not worth it. This kit took an entire day to install. Yeah, a lot of that was removing the old exhaust, but honestly that wasn't all that hard because Project Dirty Willy's only got 23 or 24,000 miles on it, so everything underneath it, you know, still relatively new. Most of the time was cutting and piecing this exhaust system. According to Flowmaster, you only have to cut off 20 and a half inches from one pipe and switch out a hanger if you have a two-door. Well, that's not true. You have to take that 20 and a half inches off. Actually, I think I took 20 and three quarter, maybe 21 inches. I couldn't take any more off because otherwise it wouldn't slide all the way into the muffler. So I took as much off of that piece as I could. I had to go all the way up to the front piece and cut some off of that 
which isn't in the instructions. I also had to remove a uh, cross member slash skid plate, which is not in the instructions. That's to get the factory exhaust out of there. I couldn't get that exhaust out without taking that down, which was no big deal. It was only four bolts, but it would be nice for them to put that in the instructions. Flowmaster makes great exhaust systems, but to me, they just got lazy on this and they slapped together a kit because I mean if you look at the description for this kit it's for 07 to 16 so you're doing it for the 3.8 and the 3.6 you're doing it for a two-door and a four-door there's just so many variables there if you go step by step by their instructions you will not get this exhaust system on there I don't want to jinx myself but just looking at the gas mileage it does actually seem like the gas mileage you know the average mile per gallon is going up now, I'm not saying you know it's, it's a huge amount but it does seem like it's slowly going up anyway hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did go check out my channel I've got all kinds of different stuff in there you know I've got videos on this Jeep Project Dirty Willie on another Jeep, Project Renegade. I've got, you know, gun videos, how-to videos, install videos, review videos, all kinds of different stuff. So go in there and check those out. If you find a video that you like, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.